Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about chimerism in transplantation medicine techniques and applications. This presentation will explore the role of chimerism analysis in transplantation medicine. We'll be discussing about the techniques used in chimerism analysis and their applications in transplantation. This presentation aims to provide a comprehensive overview of the topic. What is chimerism? It is uh, used for the detection and quantification of specific genetic differences or polymorphic markers that distinguish donor cells from recipient cells. These markers are called informative markers. So we try to quantify the proportion of hematopoietic cells of donor in relation to the recipient. It can be peripheral blood, bone marrow or tissue. Chimerism analysis has several applications in transplantation medicine like detection of graft rejection, monitoring of graft versus host disease, assessment of engraftment kinetics and it can also be used to identify mixed chimerism which can be an indication of impending graft rejection. We need to be aware of the terminology used in uh, reporting chimerism. Complete chimerism means 100% donor DNA detected and 0% recipient DNA. Mixed chimerism means both donor and recipient DNA is detected. And mixed chimerism can be stable, increasing or decreasing. Stable percentage recipient DNA is not changing significantly compared to previously tested time point or previously tested sample. Increasing percentage recipient DNA increasing compared to previously tested time point or sample. Decreasing Percentage recipient DNA decreasing compared to previously tested time point or sample. Split chimerism. Complete chimerism in one or more cell subsets with mixed chimerism or 100% recipient uh, DNA in cell subsets. Microchimerism less than 1% recipient DNA. Autologous recovery means only recipient DNA is detected with 0% donor DNA. So complete chimerism, mixed chimerism, split chimerism, micro chimerism. These are the main categories. Autologous recovery is nothing but only recipient DNA is detected. Although chimerism analysis is a valuable tool in transplantation medicine, it has some limitations. One uh, limitation is the lack of standardization in the techniques used for chimerism analysis. Another limitation is uh, the difficulty in interpreting results due to presence of mixed chimerism. Additionally, chimerism analysis may not detect low level chimerism, which can be a sign of uh, graft rejection. There are several techniques used in chimerism analysis. Uh, includes uh, non-molecular uh, methods like red cell phenotyping. Uh, cytogenetic based method includes FISH and the molecular methods are STR based, VNTR based or RFLP uh, based PCR method followed by fragment analysis and the advanced methods are qPCR, DDPCR and NGS. STR-PCR is a PCR based technique that uses short tandem repeat markers to identify genetic differences between donor and recipient cells. FISH is a technique that uses fluorescent probes to identify chromosomal abnormalities that can be used here in sex chromosomes. So let us see the uh, various methods and their advantages and limitations and genetic markers used sensitivity and the required input DNA in nanograms. RFLP 
restriction fragment length polymorphism here we use restriction enzymes uh, to cut it at a particular site the input dna would be high sensitivity is around 5 to 10 percent it evaluates all nucleated cells and uh, it is highly informative but it is time consuming and labor intensive variable number tandem repeats uh, by PCR followed by fragment analysis. Here we use 5 to 10 VNTR markers. The size ranges from 10 to 100 base pairs. Input uh, DNA required is 100 to 250 nanograms and the sensitivity is 1 to 5 percent. It is also highly informative, fast and requires low DNA input but has moderate sensitivity and lower amplification efficiency. Short tandem repeats. Uh, this is by PCR followed by fragment analysis. We use 12 to 24 STR markers and uh, the range of the product is 2 to 6 uh, base pair. The size of the markers is 2 to 6 base pairs. Uh, input DNA required is 1 to 5 nanograms and the sensitivity is 1 to 5 percent. Highly informative, fast, low input DNA required moderate sensitivity. QPCR, here we use 10 to 50 SNPs of one base pair size or indels. Uh, the genetic markers used are indels uh, ranging from 2 to 12 base pairs. Input DNA per well is 20 to 300 nanograms and the sensitivity is 0.01% uh, to 0.1%. It's highly sensitive, rapid, robust and quantitative. However, it is less accurate and requires high DNA input. DDPCR 10 to 30 indels, 20 to 100 uh, nanogram of DNA per well and the sensitivity is similar to qPCR and it's a low throughput technique and it requires high amount of DNA. NGS 24 to 210 SNPs of one base pair size or indels of 2 to 12 base pair size are used as genetic markers. 5 to 50 nanograms of uh, input DNA is required and the sensitivity is similar to qPCR and DDPCR. High sens highly sensitive and high throughput and highly accurate. But NGS is expensive and labor intensive. Though chimerism analysis is a valuable tool in transplantation medicine for detecting graft rejection, monitoring graft versus host disease and assessing engraftment kinetics, it has few limitations. Even though it is very important uh, technique which is used uh, for improving patient outcomes, particularly post-transplant. Thank you.